America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Every year it feels like they have all the pieces. They've got the money, the players, the stadium, but in the playoffs, they just crumble. And that's why they hired me to take over America's team and lead them back to a dynasty. And of course, this video can't end until we hoist the Lombardi trophy. The very first thing I'm doing as Jerry Jones, we are firing Mike McCarthy. Come on. Our new head coach is someone who gets our culture a little bit better. Phil McCockiner. Now, on paper, this Dallas Cowboys roster is absolutely insane, but that's kind of the problem, right? They have this incredible roster, and yet they cannot make it to the Super Bowl. But luckily, we don't have too much that we really have to worry about as far as players since there's so many studs on this team. We've got a young 96 overall CeeDee Lamb. Got a young 88 overall Tony Pollard. Micah Parsons, one of the best defensive players in the league, also very young. Aside from those guys, though, a lot of our big contract, big numbers guys are all pretty old. Tyron Smith obviously is pushing it. Zach Martin as well. Dak Prescott is right at that Madden sweet spot. He is 30 years old, so he's going to start to regress, but he's a 90 overall. He'll play well. Demarcus Lawrence. 92 overall. He is pretty old. Same with Gilmore. Same with Van Der Esch. So I think this will be a really fun rebuild to rebuild through the draft, potentially in free agency. And we do have an excellent core, but Dallas Cowboys are one of the few teams where I feel no need to switch their schemes at all. Uh, everybody knows offensive playbook. Dallas Cowboys is really an incredible offensive playbook. This will get your wide receivers tons of receiving yards, and your running back will get used as well. And even your tight end, really, it, it's stupidly good. Defensive-wise, not sure how good this is, but I'm excited to see it. It's a 4-3 under, and obviously we have two really good edge rushers on the D-line in Micah and Demarcus Lawrence. So I'm just going to run this stock. I think the real position in time where we're going to make an adjustment is at the end of this season. I anticipate we're going to do really well. I think we need to trade for a high draft pick, depending on how strong the draft class is uh, for the positions we need. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of thinking about trading Dak, but we'll get there. Mid-season, we're 4-2, and kind of what we expected. My rookie classes are on normal draft strength for every Thing. Let's take a look at these prospects because this is going to be really important for determining if we trade or not. Top five's got wide receiver, tackle, guard, tackle. Who's this number one guy though? Kerry Norwell out of Auburn. 6'4", 22 years old. Intangibles are okay. A play action, B break sack. There's George Carter out of San Diego State. He looks really good. Well, if I'm going to trade Dak, I need to either get George Carter or Kerry Norwell. Now, you might be wondering why I'd even want to trade Dak. He's just so valuable right now. And this team is definitely getting older in other positions. So I feel like Dak has the most value. And if we drafted a solid quarterback, we could easily get them back to Dak's level, but only progressing even more. Superstar, 92 overall. He's having a great season. He's going to be worth so much at the end of the season. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's send him to the playoffs. We should make the playoffs. It's going to be before the draft where we really make a big move here on this roster. What do you know? We go 13 and 4. We're taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. I am talking down about this team like it's not a good team. It's technically possible that we win the Super Bowl this year, but that's not really the point of the rebuild because I understand that Madden simulation just favors the Cowboys and the Chiefs. I really want to turn this into a true fucking dynasty, but hey, if we want to start out with the Super Bowl ring, I'm cool with that. Let's take a look at our stats in this first year. And what do you know? Dak Prescott finishes second in the NFL, 4,666 passing yards. Did we win MVP? Oh my God, we might have actually won MVP. Oh, let's go. Dak Prescott was a top four MVP candidate in the league this year. So this is relatively realistic. Coach of the year goes to Phil McCockiner in his first year. Let's go, baby. CeeDee Lamb gets offensive player of the year. He's going to go superstar X Factor. Uh, Michael Parsons was third in defensive player of the year voting. That's awesome. Dak gets best quarterback. Dude, best O-lineman Zach Martin. Oh my God, we dominated. Amazing season for us. That's huge. All right, let's just start by seeing how we do in this wild card. Uh, we might even check in with the squad, see if they catch a dub. We win right there. We're taking on the Niners in the divisional this is this is a true test right here oh my god nfc championship versus the atlanta falcons this shit really is on easy mode okay let's check in let's see how our base squad does against the falcons Dak prescott nurses desmond ritter dude this shit really is on easy mode for the first two years of a cowboys rebuild it's gonna start to get spicy after this though when we actually have to make big decisions lawrence will be out tyron smith will be out zach martin will be out leighton vander esch will be out it's gonna be cd lamb micah parsons and whatever quarterback we land with it's 0-0 zero to zero right now in the first quarter. Now 7-0, now 7-3, now 14-3, 14-10. Ooh, this is pretty close. Let's check in. Check in with the boys. 14-11. to 11. Cowboys got a three-point lead, second and five. Dak? 
Unloads deep. Caught. That wasn't even a good ball, and he absolutely delivered. Damn, now this is making me rethink it. Do we build the dynasty around Dak and just let him get older? No, we got to take him for what he's worth. In fact, him having an MVP season is even better. He's worth even more right now. Am I a hater? Sure. First and 10, handoff Pollard. Stuffed. Second and eight. All right, second and eight. What do you got, Dak? Another, ooh, play action to Pollard. Down to Jake Ferguson. He's also stuffed early. Third and seven. Third and seven, Dak Prescott's gonna step up. Go, Dak, go! Oh, he took a hit. Fourth and one, I think I go for this. What did the Cowboys do here? Yeah, they're going for it. Hell yeah. Damn, is this team really gonna go to the Super Bowl? Pollard! Ooh, he lowered his... There's a flag. Oh my God, is that on the Cowboys? Or is that like a face mask? Holding on the offense? Oh my God, Terrence Steele with a crucial holding call. Now it's gonna be 17 to 11. This is big. Oh, that's huge, actually. Wow, what a mistake. He had it too. Pollard had it. Not by much, but he had it. First and goal. It's a six-point game. Dallas has to stuff them here. The NFC Championship coming down to Atlanta versus Dallas. That's a dot. Oh, my God. Now the, now the Cowboys in a game-winning drive because the Falcons are up one. Wow. This is a big game right here. Big clutch. First and 10. They're already across the 50. There's still three timeouts for Atlanta, though. They don't really need that many more yards. Like, this is like you shouldn't be doing that. You should never be doing that. You should be milking the clock right now and then kicking a game-winning field goal. What are they doing? They're going to give Atlanta the ball back. I don't know if I agree with that play call. I guess you're never guaranteed to make the field goal, but I don't know if I would have done that. Damn, they scored fast, though. They turned the ball over. Oh, Atlanta turns the ball over. Dallas takes it home. Dude, are we really going to win a Super Bowl the first year? This is going to feel so fraudulent. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Take me to the Super Bowl. You know damn well we're playing the Chiefs. Just get ready for it. Holy curveball. <laughs> we're taking on the Dolphins in the Super Bowl. Let's go. Hey, Super Bowl 58 in Allegiant Stadium. We're in Vegas, baby. Miami's up first. Dallas got seven. Miami responds with another field goal. Dallas got 14. 14 to six. 21 to six. I'm, not, I'm about to say, dude, Dallas is so much better than Miami and Sim. I feel like this might just be a curb stomp. Oh, my God. It's fucking 24 to six in the Super Bowl. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I do some of these rebuilds where I'm sitting in this fucking chair for six hours just to see this. I have been here for 15 minutes. That's actually so easy mode. That's crazy. America's team needs no rebuild. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is actually where the fun starts. This is truly where the rebuild begins. I'm excited to have a Super Bowl ring already, but that's negative 21.2 million in available salary cap. Of course, we also have the very last pick in the NFL draft. Now, if I want a quarterback, I have two options. Let's take a look at this mock draft here. So Kerry Norwell is always going first. That guy must be an absolute monster because he's always going first. And it looks like that other quarterback is actually falling. George Carter falling all the way to 20? What? the second best quarterback falling to 20. We're not even going to have to trade up that aggressively. Yeah, he's falling to 20. He really slipped. Maybe I should be concerned about him then. Honestly, with George Carter dropping so far, I mean, he really fell. I think I think I might need to trade up for Kerry Norwell. Who has the first pick? So the team with the number one pick is the Patriots. The Patriots would love Dak Prescott. Let's get cooking with the Patriots here. Dak's cap hit is 60 million. It's actually insane. This would solve a lot of problems if we could find a team willing to take him. I think the Patriots have good cap space too so getting their first pick this might actually work three first rounders and cole strange for the mvp actually let me make sure we're not underselling there's just no way right did i just undersell dak prescott for three first round picks a second and a cole strange you know i don't care if madden thinks that's an undersell i don't think dak prescott's even worth that this is exactly what we wanted we got to take a look at the team though so cd lamb did get superstar x factor he's up to superstar x factor smith and zach martin still look amazing cole strange is basically zach martin's replacement zach martin is 33 years old. He actually could be good for a while, so potentially... Gosh, that's a good question. What am I going to do with Cole Strange? Maybe I really didn't need him. We've already got Tyler Smith, who's 23 and a 91 overall. Maybe I could put him at tackle if Tyron Smith gets out of here at 33. Whatever. We've got a young replacement for one of these aging guys. Obviously, no quarterback. Still got Gallup and Cooks. Demarcus Lawrence is still cooking. I, I thought Demarcus Lawrence might even retire. All right, dude. This is... um Chase. Here we go. All right, the good news. With round one, pick one, this is an absolute no-brainer. There is only only one quarterback in this class um, who's really that guy, and it's Kerry Norwell. Kerry Norwell, throw power elite is such a good sign. Now, you look at the rest of his intangible ratings. So, I don't know.
know if this guy's generational, but elite throw power is really the only thing that matters, and his skills are really, really good across the board. This guy's at least a 75 overall, and he's definitely hidden dev. Yes, he is. Karen Norwell, you are a Dallas Cowboy. All right, so now this is our pick, which is the end of the first round. I kind of want to grab... What do I want to grab here? I've got a lot of aging people in the secondary. I've got an aging offensive line. I've got an aging Demarcus Lawrence. Kind of just got to take the best player available here. Jamal Stevenson. Not good enough. Holy shit. Look at this guard, Riley Ross. Damn, I really didn't need Cole Strange. I should have, dude, I could have traded for Christian Gonzalez and got him and said, this, this is fucking insane. We are taking Riley Ross here. Hidden dev left guard. 21 years old, lefty out of Florida State. And we'll probably end up trading Cole Strange. Or maybe we trade Zach Martin. Ah, that feels so weird. I'm trading away some very like key Dallas Cowboy. I'm ruining the heart and soul of this team. I'm also, I actually am going to take Jamal Stevenson here just in case he's hidden dev. Not going to lie, his stats are not that good. 88 speed, 86 Excel is pretty damn slow for a safety, but hidden dev's the important part here. He has room to improve, and um, our secondary is getting a little bit older, so I'm cool with that. So we are three for three on hidden devs. This is an immaculate draft right now. We got round two pick 32. It's, it's really hard to say what we need at this point. I wouldn't hate a decent linebacker. Eric Vallejo. Good speed. Eric McCullough. Amari Sheffield. I'm actually going to take this D-tackle, BJ Hammond. 87 strength, 84, except we don't have any good D-tackles on this team. We just got a hidden dev. He's 6'2", 300 pounds, 20 one speed rush right of San Diego State. San Diego State coming in clutch. All right, I am simming to the end of the draft. We are absolutely nuclear right now. Keep in mind, uh, I do have dev trait regression on. So players can lose their X factors. They can lose their superstars. It definitely makes rebuilding a lot harder. So that's why I wanted to do it. We are still negative in cap space. But let's take a look at this draft recap. Absolutely one of the best drafts I've ever had. I already know it. Wow. <sighs> Holy shit. Carrie Norwell's an 80. Carrie Norwell is a big 80. 84 speed, 83 excel, 81 agility, 95 throw power, 91 short accuracy. This guy's a beast, man. He's a field general with 95 throw power. Ross, the guard, is already a 74. So he's like matching Cole Strange. And then he just cost us, you know what it cost us? It cost us the pick we took from the Patriots. Stevenson's a 72. Hammond's a 72. Uh, the computer even got me a 72 wide receiver. Are you hidden dev? No. A little bit too crazy, right? JoJo Watkins is a 70 and then a couple bumps. Let's take a look at the entire class. Let's see how crazy this class was. Norwell has to be the best player in the class. Oh, shit. No, he's not. Mitch McCoy, 84 overall right guard. Norwell's an 80 and then Tavarius Henry is an 80 overall wide receiver. There's a 79 in the linebacker and then there's a steep drop off. Yo, where's that other quarterback? Oh, is this guy truly a bum? Dude, we made such a good decision. I was almost going to trade up to like 20, not really trade away that much and just take... Wait, that's not even him. Ryland Peck is not even him. He was, his name is George. George Carter. George Carter's ass. And he's out of San Diego State. He's 72 over... Well, he's not ass. If he's hidden dev, he's probably pretty good. Okay, he's hidden dev 72 overall. I wouldn't have been mad about that, but he's no carry Norwell. Let's just say that. All right, let's take a look at this year two lineup. Kerry Norwell just got dropped in the greatest position known to man. He has a 99 overall superstar X-Factor CD Lamb. CD Lamb, by the way, 6'2", 25 years old out of Oklahoma. Absolutely insane already. Pollard's a 91 and a superstar. He's still got Gallup and Cooks. I, I really just like, wow, I drafted great offensive linemen that I don't need and we don't need Cole Strange either. It's so weird to be in that position. I'm gonna move Riley Ross to tackle, right tackle. And I'm going to start him over Terrence Steele just for the reps. It's a 72 overall there. He takes a little regression going to a tackle. I'm going to try and trade Tyron Smith. We just have too many good offensive linemen to be paying someone this much. I don't think anyone's going to have the cap space for this dude. Kind of feel like the Washington Commanders when they had Trent Williams, you know? It's like, yeah, he's a stud, but what are we doing with him? The Jets would love a left tackle. What would they give up? Dude, if they gave up Jermaine Johnson and a couple draft picks for Tyron Smith, that would actually be nasty. I finally got it to work. This is actually a really dope trade. I'm excited about this. So the Jets get Tyron Smith. Awesome left tackle. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers would love a guy like him. We get Jermaine Johnson, young edge rusher, and their 2025 first round pick. So we also offload his contract onto them, which is awesome. So they kind of just like bought his contract off of us for an awesome left tackle. Now, the reason I did that is because of course we've got Demarcus Lawrence, but Demarcus Lawrence is getting older too. And I want his replacement to be available. That, of course, is Jermaine Johnson. The more I look at the roster, the more I realize how just OP this team is. All right, so now we got Cole Strange at left tackle, Riley Ross at right tackle. Still got Zach Martin, B-Dash, and Tyler Smith. Insanity. 
really. Stevenson is waiting for his turn. Same with BJ Hammond, but for now, I think there's still going to be depth depth players behind Odigazua and uh, Donovan Wilson. Same with Jermaine Johnson. He is going to have to wait, but I think next season, Demarcus Lawrence is going to be out of here or regressing, so that's when I'm going to have Jermaine Johnson take over. And then we've still got the Patriots first round pick, our own first round pick, and the Jets first round pick in this upcoming draft. And I have a feeling we're probably going to have an insane season too. So, Kerry Norwell, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Come here, baby. Season two looking solid. We are 11 and six. So, a slight regression from 13 and four. But this is with Kerry Norwell, who presumably had a monster season. 4,130 passing yards, fifth in the NFL. It's not in the MVP running. We didn't get Coach of the Year this year. We got, ooh, Micah Parsons, Defensive Player of the Year. Let's go, baby. Micah Parsons, Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Kerry Norwell. Amazing. And let's take a look at the stats compared to the entire NFL. So Mahomes had 5,000 5, yard season. Norwell, 4,130, 25 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Amazing rookie season. Now let's take a look at uh, at just our squad here. Pollard with 1,117 touchdowns. Damn, Norwell even got in on the ground. Nice work. Receiving, it was all CeeDee Lamb, then Gallup, then Cooks, then Ferguson, then Pollard. What about defensively? I am interested to see how we did defensively. Van Der Esch with 132 tackles. He's actually not as old as I was thinking. He's only six years in the league. He's a stud. He was. I definitely thought he was older. Marquise Bell had 126. Wilson had 98 for TFLs. Sacks, 19 for the Defensive Player of the Year. I think Azua had six. Demarcus Lawrence, four and a half. Two and a half for Jermaine Johnson. Not bad. Interceptions, any? Four out of Donovan Wilson. Two out of Van Der Esch, one out of Lake Hooker, Noah, Damon Clark, Trayvon Diggs. Darren Bland didn't have any. Darren Bland. Good tackles. No interceptions. Another incredible season. Let's see how this playoff run can go. Can we just like win a Super Bowl every season? That'd be kind of funny. Dub against the Seahawks. Do we choke? No, we don't. The NFC Championship once again against Atlanta. It's a little NFC Championship rivalry. Do we go to the Super Bowl? Are we going to Super Bowl back to back? Dude, the Falcons got us this time. We beat the Falcons last season. They beat us here. Super Bowl 59 is the dude, the Dolphins dynasty. Sort of. I mean, the Dolphins make the Super Bowl again. Back to back years. Do they win it this year? They lost to the Atlanta Falcons. So here's your recap. Falcons win at 35-24. One time Super Bowl champions. Kerry Norwell, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year actually went to Max Crosby, so Michael Parsons actually came second to Max Crosby, but he should get um, he should get a nice little XP boost just for winning it in the NFC. Congratulations, Max Crosby. All right, let's head to free agency. I don't think we're going to have the cap for free agency, but I'll take a look anyway. All right, year three, we got 17 mil in cap, um, and I have three first-round draft picks. One thing to keep in mind, if there's not a player that we need, if there's not a player we even want, we need to trade. Um, uh, and get some value down the line. I don't want to just be drafting players just because I have the pick. All right, boys, let's start this draft. Our first pick is round one, pick 15. That is from the New England Patriots. So they actually had a pretty good season. Here's Derek Harbour, a free safety out of LSU. Great speed, great jumping. He's a good option, but... Nick Downs, the tight end. Dude, this guy is a monster. Wait a minute. Elite Excel, Elite Agility. Oh, we got to take him. We just got to take him because he's so damn good. Six foot six, bald white guy who's 21. Yikes, buddy. Might have just drafted, maybe not a generational tight end, but a nasty tight end. That's a really good start here. I mean, there are good tackles available. These are actually really good tackles. I don't really need off. Dude, I'm sorry, but I have to draft this. Are you shitting me? Elite, 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 elite. Good, good. Now, his strength is good, which isn't the best. It's got to be a hidden dev tackle. I, I actually don't need a tackle, but you just cannot pass on that. My God, he's... These drafts are crazy, man. This is on normal strength. And then my next user pick is actually my pick. If there's a good wide receiver, I do want to take somebody, though, because Brandon Cooks is getting older. We may actually use all our draft picks here. Julian Oliver. Great speed, great excel, great agility. And he's six. Okay, shit. We're actually taking everybody 95 speed. <laughs> Dude, not only are the Cowboys already good, but I'm having the best drafts I've really ever had. This might be a true dynasty. I'm advancing to the end of the draft. Have I drafted a normal dev at all? I don't think I've manually drafted a single normal dev, right? Drum roll, please. Draft recap is 77 overall Nick. Yeah, this guy's a monster. Nick Downs, a 77 overall tight end. Shelton was a 74. Oliver was a 71. CPU picked me up a bunch of homeless people. Wow, pretty weak class overall. Terrence Jennings. So there are two really good tight ends in here. Terrence Jennings and then uh, Downs. Ted Harvey center. Yeah, this is a very weak class overall. All right, gentlemen, let's take a look at this roster going into year three. 
So Riley Ross is a 78 at left tackle. Smith beat Ash, Zach Martin, and Norwell. So Norwell is now superstar. So he probably was star. And then when he got offensive record of the year, he got boosted up to superstar. But yeah, he's going to be... He's so good so fast. It's kind of OP. Let's move Oliver up in the depth chart. Also, to note, Michael Gallup regressed on his dev trait. And Brandon Cooks either walked in free agency or was traded. Although, I'm not sure which one of those it is. We've got three really good tight ends now, too. We should definitely move one of these guys. I like Ferguson a lot, but putting a little more stock in depth downs right now. Shelton, I'm going to move to right tackle, and then I could put him in over Terrence Steele, and then once again, we still have this whole Cole Strange debacle. Like, we're actually a dynasty, and we still have players with value that aren't getting used. It's kind of weird. Hey, and what do you know? Demarcus Lawrence did retire. That's why we got Jermaine Johnson. Looks like it paid off. Odigajua and Smith both got dev trait upgrades. Left outside linebackers is 65 overall. Diggs is still here. Bland regressed to normal dev. Stevenson's a 77. Malik Cooker's an 80. Six. Okay, defense, we need a linebacker next season. That or we trade for a linebacker, but we got to remember how many extra draft picks we have thanks to New England Patriots. So let's look for a linebacker next class. And this season, honestly, this season very well could be a, a serious playoff push with how good this team is. 12-5 season. Wait a minute. Ooh, one last hurrah. Discuss making a playoff push for a veteran. That is definitely Zach Martin. He might be out of here. Looks like Kerry Norwell was third in the league in passing yards. 4,000 500, 35 touchdowns, six interceptions. Pollard, 1,320 insane season. Oh my God, CD Lamb with 1,615 touchdowns. Huge. Oh, Farley, Mellow Farley must be our slot wide receiver. I didn't realize he was at slot. And then Nick Downs had eight touchdowns. That's a good season for him, too. Defensively, Van Der Esch. Clark, five, four. Wow, really good interceptions for the squad. And then 22 and a half for my guess. Gotta be defensive player of the year. Please. He earned it this time. Norwell's fifth in MVP voting. Arthur Smith is coach of the year. That's funny. Micah Parsons, Defensive Player of the Year. Let's see if he actually holds it for the whole league. Nick Downs is second in Offensive uh, Rookie of the Year, at least for the NFC. So, insane season all around for these gentlemen. Now it's time for the Wild Card Playoffs. Can we make it to the bowl? Gotta be, get past the Niners, who's a really good team, yeah. It's a tough Wild Card matchup. Take on the Niners, take the loss there. But honestly, this team is still trying to get to the point where we were with Dak. And now that I say that, we're actually a little bit further along. Nick Downs is a superstar X-Factor. This team is so ready. About to make Downs my slot wide receiver. Receiver, dude. We're ready to win a Super Bowl. I honestly, I don't know how we didn't go further. We got 99 Micah. We just got to get a better, let's get a better linebacker in here for Hampton. Give me to the draft. And we got, we got cap space now too. We can continue to, to pay all these guys. Yeah, honestly, a bummer right there, but our window to win a Super Bowl is still gigantic. So I'm not worried. So here's the thing. I do want an outside linebacker. And at the top of this class is this outside linebacker, Josh Ruiz. Now he is a speed rusher, which isn't exactly what we want, but he's got elite acceleration, good speed, really good stats, and his coverages aren't horrible. Man coverage isn't bad. Zone coverage is a C. I think we might trade up unless we get Travis McDougald or Joe Whitfield out of Michigan. It's actually a good amount. Actually, I take it back. There's a really good amount of, of outside linebackers in this class. I think we're good to just run with what we got. I don't think we need to trade up here. I just need I just need a left outside linebacker. First pick is round. Ah. Let's see if there's something available. I expect there to be. I expect a linebacker to be available, even if it's round one pick 23. Maybe not. It was a mistake. Might have to trade for somebody. Actually, dude, we've got so much capital. We don't need to draft here. Let's see if we can trade this away. Who, what am I going to get for this? Round one pick 23, I could get... I could basically just get a giant haul of picks. A first and a second from the Falcons. Isn't that good? Because they're playing well. Maybe the Colts first and second next year. I like this. I'm going to take the Colts first and second next year. Honestly, might just end up trading those to get myself a really good outside linebacker. And then we're actually... The pick right after. I do want to make one selection. It's always fun to make at least one selection, right? I'm going to take this corner, Kedrick Rutherford. I like to draft corners. I don't like to draft corners when they're normal dev. It's not the end of the world. We have a lot of depth at corner, but he looked like the best player available. No hidden dev. Damn it. That's our first whiff. Yeah, we're at negative two mil in cap space. Dude, we cannot be utilizing free agency. Not unless we really trade some players. Rutherford's a 73. Not bad. Childress is 73 from the CPU and Keaton, a right guard, 74 from the CPU. Damn. But they went off. Kenya Keaton, right guard, hidden dev. Childress, right end, is normal dev. And there's a 72 middle linebacker in here. Damian Samuel. Oh my God, this is exactly what I needed. 90 speed middle linebacker, 93 XL, hidden dev out of Georgia. Holy shit, the CPU went off. 
Wait, huge. And we traded away a pick, too. That's gigantic. Best player in this class was an 82 corner. Daryl McCutcheon, Terrell McCray, Antonio Casey Craig. Wow, the Bears went off. 280 pluses. Nice draft for the Chicago Bears. Okay, that middle linebacker is big for us, dude. Since I've taken over this team, we have not won a Super Bowl. But Norwell is now a superstar X Factor. He's got... First one free? Dude, what are we doing? Let's go run and gun. We got to give him some nice abilities too. These actually really do matter. He'll use Hot Rod Mastery if you give it to him. He'll use Pocket Deadeye. And we give him Protected. Inside Deadeye. No look Deadeye. Yeah, he is an absolute monster. This was the right call. Like, he is now Dax overall when we traded Dak, except he's 24 and he's Superstar X Factor. That was the right call. We've got Pollard. We've still got Deuce Vaughn. We got CeeDee Lamb, Mello Farley, and Julian Oliver. Uh, Downs is now an 85, but Jake Ferguson and Shoemaker are out of here. Here. Shelton Ross, Tyler Smith, Viadash, and Zach Martin. Guess what? I have another amazing guard in uh, Keaton. Defensively, let's get Samuel in the rotation. Got him as our backup middle linebacker, Weaver. I need a different left outside linebacker. Let's go big. Let's go big this season. Let's do this the right way. I need an outside linebacker and I need an edge rusher because we couldn't afford Jermaine Johnson. That is something stupid that I kind of overlooked on this is I have all these good players. Obviously, I wasn't going to have the cap space to pay everybody. So we can move our young right guard. We don't have anything for him right now. And we can move these extra draft picks from the Colts or my own. And we can try and get ourselves an outside linebacker or an edge rusher. Ooh, look at the commanders. They got this dude, Ross Williams. Young stud. They need a left guard and they definitely need draft picks. I wonder if they bite on this. Probably don't even got to give him a round one for this. Let's give him our second round from the Colts. It's insane. Superstar right end for our hidden dev right guard and a second round pick. Huge. Still need an outside linebacker though. Preferably a pass coverage outside linebacker. Look at this guy, Boogie Bright. 23-year-old middle linebacker with star dev. I actually could use him. I can move him to outside linebacker. Could I just give you a second round pick for him? I retain both first rounders and I pick up two monster young players. I almost need to put some rule on trading, honestly, to make these rebuilds different. Because that's like... How much we just got for such a little investment is kind of crazy. I'm going to make Damian Samuel a left outside linebacker. Let's see what this does to his overall... He's still a 72. That's perfect. So we got Boogie Bright, Van Der Esch, Clark, Damien Samuel. Now we got Williams down here with Micah Parsons. Trayvon Diggs is a superstar. Great corners. Stevenson is stepping in. Donovan Wilson has either retired or left in free agency. I'm not sure. Malik Hooker's regressing a little bit. This should be a Super Bowl team. I expect this team to go. Let's see how we do in year four, baby. Let's run it. Ooh. You know what we got for the first time in our career? Is a buy in the wild card, but not with our best record. We're 12 and 5. We tie to the Eagles. We must have beat them head to head because we got the bye. So our first game here is going to be the divisional championship taking on, hopefully not the 49ers, Green Bay. <laughs> Let's go. All right. If we make it past the divisional round, we'll go on to the NFC championship 31 to 24. We beat the Packers. Now we take on the Lions. But first, I got to check the league, dude. Kerry Norwell. This guy is insane. 4,800 yards. 35 and 5. Absolutely insane. Pollard, 1,300. Uh, 20 touchdowns. Dude, he's getting 20 touchdowns a season. It's disgusting. CeeDee Lamb, another absolutely unbelievable season. Julian Oliver hits 1,000. Gets 6. Nice work. Farley, 904. And Nick Downs, our superstar X-Factor tight end, 806. We're honestly underutilizing him a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Van Der Esch, still just a tackle workhorse. Timon Clark, Darren Bland, Stevenson, Trayvon Diggs. Micah Parsons with 18. Not sure that got him defensive player of the year, but a great season. Ross Williams. Ended up being a really nice pickup. Nine sacks for him. Odigazua is becoming a very, very solid defensive tackle option with six sacks on this season. And four interceptions was the most on our team that went to Leighton Van Der Esch, who doesn't have any abilities. No lurker or lurk artist. He's just that guy. Nice job, Van Der Esch. MVP Norwell comes in third. CeeDee Lamb, Offensive Player of the Year. Amazing. All right, let's see how we fare against the Lions here in the NFC Championship. The NFC Championship. It's the 9-8 and eight Lions, though. And we played the 9-8 and eight Packers. This is low-key. W. Dude, this is low-key. Kind of a cakewalk. And we're taking on the Bengals in the Super Bowl? What? Yo, this is... Is so cool. This this sim actually has produced a lot of teams that I'm not used to seeing. Cincinnati Bengals are 11 and 6, taking on the 12 and 5 Cowboys. Let's go, baby. Let's see this. I'm actually gonna play a few moments because we do have like some seriously new players now. It's not like this is the stock Cowboys roster anymore. We got Kerry Norwell, we got Downs, we got a few new wide receivers. Defense looks pretty similar, just no Demarcus Lawrence. We did add Ross Williams, uh, but we still got Trayvon Diggs, we still got Darren Bland, we still got Malik Hooker, Leighton Vander Esch. Dude, the Super Bowl 
Bengals versus Cowboys. Let's get it. All right, first and 10. I'm going to put Downs on a corner route. I'm going to put Farley right there. This is what we got Hot Route Master for, baby. Let's sit in this pocket. Let's see who's home. Oof. I'm only playing the moments right now. So this is my first drive on offense. Then after I get a drive on offense and defense, I got to let the sim take over. It's only fair. But, you know, we've assembled so many cool players. I want to test them out. All right, it's a screen, but I'm actually looking at CeeDee Lamb. <gasps> What's the flag? Oh, my God. I need it so badly. What's the flag? Please be like DPI or some shit. Roughing the pass or something to bail me out. Pass interference defense. Lego. No, no, no. Offensive pass interference. No. Oh, my God. I'm homeless. Wow, what a trash throw, dude. Wait a second, Van Der Esch. I take it back. Van Der Esch has got abilities. When did you get abilities? Leighton Van Der Esch got superstar. That's awesome. He's going to rifle a quick one. Nice throw from Burrow. Oh, uh, we get a big hit on him, but he got good yards there. All right, let's see what we can figure it out here. Slip screen. I'm all over it. Good defense. Second and 10. Throw short. Another pass breakup. It's now third and 10. Cowboys defense is flying around right now. Sorry that I... Dude, I shouldn't have even come in on offense. I threw them all off. All right, we're going to guess pass here. We got a little man coverage. Malik Hooker on the halfback. Halfback's got a route. He throws? Oh, almost intercepted. But that's fourth and 10. That's going to be a turnover. Let's let the sim take over from here. I basically did nothing. It was a zero-sum game. Cowboys get seven. Now 14. No way. This is a blowout, right? They get three. Now 21. Our second Super Bowl. I feel like I earned this Super Bowl. I do feel like I earned this win. If we had just kept Dak, there's no way we'd be here right now. That's what I like to think. 31 to... Jeez. 34 to 24. It was never really close. It was always two possession. Eesh! Kerry Norwell is getting his first Super Bowl MVP, baby. Two Super Bowls in four years. Let's make it three and five. We'll be just like the Kansas City Chiefs. This will be a true dynasty. Let's go, baby. Dude, Kerry Norwell, at obvious Super Bowl MVP. 20 for 26, 266 yards, three touchdowns, an interception. Pollard, 67 on the ground, and the touchdown is really good. CeeDee Lamb was our guy. Same with Julian Oliver, who continues to be really, really good. That was our 95-speed hidden dev wide receiver. So you made a really good call there. And then defensively, Van Der Esch was great. A sack out of Micah Parsons. Half a sack out of Ross Williams. Same with Van Der Esch. So they got close. Two interceptions to Moan Clark. Oh my God. Nice work. Big dub, baby. Phil McCockiner got that contract extension, baby. So we win the Super Bowl. We've got a 93 tight end from the draft. A 99 quarterback from the draft. Pollard regresses a little bit. Smith is up to a 97. Zach Martin is regressing. Shelton and Ross are excellent. No need to move those guys. Biadash is doing well too. I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong. We need a safety in this draft. So Malik Hooker officially has moved on. Linebackers look great. D-line looks great. Bland and Diggs are an insane corner duo. Watkins ended up being a good pick and Stevenson is slowly but surely getting into his role we just need a safety that's it we got round one pick 24 this is our final pick from our gigantic haul from the Patriots so Dak Prescott's value officially ends here I know that's a weird way to look at it but we got three first round picks out of him this is the final one and I don't see any safeties Gregory Kennedy Gregory Kennedy free safety out of South Carolina he's five foot nine all around pretty good stats this is actually a good pick I don't know if he's gonna be hitting dev though it's kind of a 50 50 on him not the best stats in the world but he's hidden dev this is awesome 92 speed 87 excel 88 agility we've got our free safety and that concludes the draft for us we don't have to do anything else um anything else super important but i want to see what the cpu's got in store for us it did pick up a really nice middle linebacker last time the draft recap damn kennedy this ended up being a really good pick i didn't expect him to be a 76 his stats didn't look that impressive but 76 over free safety amazing coach ended up getting damn a 74 tight end not sure we need it Dion hooks 72 middle linebacker is is really nice. And then Wakefield, the center to eventually replace Biadash. That's, these are all really, really good picks. This is without a doubt, been my best drafted um, rebuild ever, for sure. Best uh, player in the class was Amani Shepard, wide receiver taken at 17 with 96 speed. He's really good. And then once again, not too strong of a class. This is pretty common though, when you have it on normal. Uh, you usually don't see too many players uh, 80 or above. And that's what we got here. We ended up with a 76 free safety, which is exactly what my team needed. So we can't ask for anything else really. That was perfect for us. We have trade offers for Hammond, which is actually really nice. Hammond was the D tackle we drafted, but Odigajua ended up being so good that he didn't get a lot of reps. Let's see what kind of offers we have for him. Nothing impressive. 
Just draft picks. I'm actually going to take this, though. This gives me a fourth and a seventh rounder, which is just capital. We're not using BJ Hammond, so we might as well. A fourth and a seventh for him is valuable. Valuable enough. Here is the lineup going into year five. We've got two Super Bowls in four years. We now have a 99 overall superstar X-Factor quarterback. We've got CD Lamb, who literally can't be upgraded any further. Uh, Wakefield is hidden dev. Good news, Duncan Wakefield. And then Downs is a 92 overall. Uh, we got Canada now at my new free safety. We still got Micah Parsons and Ross Williams. Micah Parsons also can't be upgraded any further, which is actually insane. Like, that's crazy that these guys are that good. And then here's our specialist. So right now, they've got Mello Farley at slot wide receiver. I'm going to leave it that way. I like Farley. One thing I'd like to eventually do, I guess, is get CeeDee Lamb another really good wide receiver along with him. Because right now, he's such a workhorse. Farley and Oliver are both just kind of... I don't know, average. So potentially we get another weapon, but we did just win a Super Bowl. I don't think we really need to change anything. We won a Super Bowl and we got a better free safety in the draft. So I think we just, I think we just play ball and we go for a third. We're floating on the salary cap. So once we have to pay mega contracts, once Ross Williams, Micah Parsons, CeeDee Lamb, and Norwell are all getting max contracts, that's when we'll get in trouble. But until then, I think we're okay. Another day, another playoff run. We're 14 and three. We got the buy again. Who do we got? Come on. This is like legacy right here. If I want the three Super Bowls in five years. All right. We're taking out the Lions. Lions are building a little dynasty. They keep, we keep seeing them in the playoffs. Divisional against the Lions. Oh, shit. All right, Lions. You know what? Lions, you're going to knock me off my dynasty. You better win this Super Bowl. Actually, though, like you better win this Super Bowl. I'm going to be so mad if you don't. Hey, ask and you shall receive. The Lions won a Super Bowl. I know this is a Cowboys rebuild, but I'm happy for them. They beat the Steelers 27-17. And the MVP was Trevor Lawrence, who I guess is now a Detroit Lion. All right, boys. After five years, this has been an interesting rebuild. I've never rebuilt a team that was already good. But we win a Super Bowl in the first season, 24-6. Then we go into the rebuild period. The Falcons win here. The Eagles win here. It wasn't really a rebuild. Then we win another Super Bowl. We beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Super Bowl MVP was Damone Clark. That's awesome. And then in 2027, the Lions beat us. They went on to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to sim five years into the future now, see how the squad did. But I feel like we we're already pretty successful in these first five years. So let's see if we set this team up for success. The year is 2032. Let's check in on the history of the league. Did we win anything? Did the Falcons end up being really good? Okay, so the year after the Lions win it, the Giants carry Norway. Oh my god, we traded, we traded Gary Norwell? We trade Gary Norwell to New York, and they win a Super Bowl instantly. Then the Seahawks win it. Then the Ravens win it. Oh my god, then Anthony Richardson, MVP and Super Bowl MVP. Oh my god, why would we trade him? What are we doing? That was my workhorse. All right, let me see what the teams look like. We're still at 89 overall. Like, we're still insane. Let's see how much different the squad is. So we still got CD. We got a new superstar X-Factor quarterback and a backup superstar. My receivers look bizarre. We still got Ross and Ty. Tyler Smith. The rest of the guys are gone other than Duncan Wakefield. Downs is 99, but a star. Uh, then defensively, we still got Boogie. We still got Samuel. Uh, Micah's still here. He's still a 99. Stevenson's still here. Kennedy, Aaron Bland, and the rest of the squad. All right, boys. There is America's team rebuild. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Phil McCockner, you'll go down as a legend. All right, boys. I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.